Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can solve quadratics and other polynomials on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here the exe or execute key that looks like this located here the negative key that looks like this located here and the f1 through f5 keys that look like this located here if we want to solve a quadratic or other polynomial on this calculator First, we have to navigate to the polynomial function. To do that, we hit the menu key to go to the main menu, and then scroll down and over to the equations option there. Select it with the exe key so that we see the equation menu here. And we see F2 polynomial. So we hit F2 to select that. Now we're at the polynomial screen here. Let's say we want to solve this, x squared plus 4x minus 5. First, we have to determine how many degrees we have. In a polynomial, the degree is determined by the largest power of x. So for this one, x to the power of 2 would be our degree. So we choose a degree of 2. And now we can begin entering our numbers. So for our equation, we have x squared plus 4x minus 5. And we start with a for the x squared number. Since there's no number in front of the x squared, we assume 1 there. For b, for the x, we have 4x, so we put 4 there. And then for c, we have negative 5. So for that, we use the negative key here, not the subtraction key, the negative key. And then 5, and hit exe. There we go. We've got our equation entered. And now we can hit solve, f1. And see, this gives us the results of x equals 1 or x equals minus 5. If we're done with that, we can go back by hitting F1 or repeat. And then we can edit our equation here if we want to. How about another equation? Let's look at x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus x plus 2. To go back to our polynomial menu, we can just hit exit. So for our new equation, we have x to the power of 3 as the largest power. So for our degree, we choose f2, 3. Then again, we can enter our numbers. So x to the power of 3 is 1. For b, we have minus 2x, so we go negative 2. For c, we have minus x, so we just enter negative 1. And d, we have 2, so we enter 2 there. And hit solve. And as a result, we get x equals 2, x equals 1, and x equals minus 1. Again, to go back, we can either hit repeat or the exit key. Twice to go back to our polynomial menu. And for a new example, let's look at this. x squared minus 25. Well, our degree is 2 because that's our largest exponent. So we hit F1. And we have x squared, so we choose 1 for our a. And we have no x here, so we leave b as 0. Scroll over to c. And we have negative 25.
and hit F1, hit solve. And see, we get a result of x equals 5 or x equals negative 5. And again, if we're done, we hit the exit key twice to go back to our polynomial menu. And if we're done working with polynomials and want to go back to our main menu, we just hit the menu key and we're back at our main menu. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.